Hello mga kalabli! Welcome back to Mambel Corner! Today, we will be talking about an important part of teacher evaluation that often goes unnoticed, the use of research-based knowledge and principles of teaching and learning as a non-classroom observable indicator in the performance, management, and evaluation system for teachers. Since this is not something that can be directly seen in a classroom setting, we will also explore the means of verification used to assess it. Okay, let's get started. So how to show research-based teaching outside the classroom? As teachers, we do more than just teach. Bilang mga guru, hindi lang tayo nagtuturo sa loob ng silid-aralan. Marami tayong ginagawa kahit tapos na ang contact time natin sa mga bata, tulad ng lesson planning, research, at mentoring. Pero paano natin ito maipapakita sa ating performance evaluation? How to achieve outstanding in the performance indicator in objective number 2, the performance management and evaluation system for teachers. Okay, so stay tuned as we break it down in a simple and practical way. What is a non-classroom observable indicator? When we evaluate teachers, we often focus on classroom observations, how they manage students, deliver lessons, and engage learners. But not everything a teacher does is visible in the classroom. Some key aspects like lesson planning, professional development, and research-based teaching strategies happen behind the scenes. These are what we call non-classroom observable indicators in teacher evaluation. One essential non-classroom observable indicator is a teacher's use of research-based knowledge and principles of teaching and learning. This means that teachers should continuously update their teaching methods based on educational research, learning theories, and best practices. Some examples include using differentiated instruction to meet diverse students' needs, applying Bloom's taxonomy to develop higher-order thinking skills, and implementing evidence-based classroom management strategies. According to the performance indicator, to achieve five or outstanding, uh, it says integrated at a strategic level, relevant and innovative, research-based knowledge and principles with clear rationale and reflection of its significant value to the teaching and learning process. So since we cannot always observe these practices directly, how do we verify them? So we have here some of the MOVs or means of verification for this indicator. Number one is the lesson plans and instructional materials. So the teachers uh, submit detailed lesson plans that show research-based strategies, like for example, DLL or daily lesson log incorporating differentiated instructions. So another MOV is the professional development records, attending training, workshops, or courses on new teaching strategies. So you can present your certificate for this one. And we also have action research and reflection papers. Conducting research or writing reflections on teaching improvements can also be used as MOV for this indicator. We also have student performance and feedback. Using assessments and student feedback to measure effectiveness. And lastly, collaborative learning and sharing. So participating in teacher learning uh, communities mentoring and sharing best practices can also be used as the means of verification for this indicator. Okay, so to better understand how research-based knowledge is applied, let's look at an example of a daily lesson log with annotation. Okay, so this is the annotation. In this lesson, differentiated instruction is used to accommodate diverse student needs. This aligns with research on multiple intelligences ensuring all learners can engage with the material in ways suited to their strengths. By including varied activities such as group discussions, hands-on tasks, and reflective writing, the teacher applies constructivist learning principles, making learning more meaningful for students. Evaluating teachers based on non-classroom observable indicators ensures that we recognize their efforts via the classroom. It promotes continuous learning and professional growth, ultimately leading to better teaching and improved student outcomes. Great teaching isn't just about what happens in the classroom. It's also about preparation, research, and lifelong learning. 
Now, what are your thoughts on using research-based teaching as a performance indicator? Please drop your insights in the comment section below, okay? I'd love to hear from you. And that wraps up today's discussion on research-based teaching as a non-classroom observable indicator in teacher performance evaluation. Remember, great teaching starts long before the classroom. By applying research-based strategies, teachers ensure that learning is more effective, engaging, and meaningful for students. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our future content. Okay, thank you for watching mga kalabli. Until next time, keep learning, keep growing, and keep inspiring. See you in the next video. Bye!